for managing chic we get a jump start on the july favorites july empties and july didn't work for me so i'm gonna throw this crap away but i want to start off by filming my july favorites the reason why i'm filming this stuff early is because i have so much planned for my channel in like this next two weeks i don't want to forget so i'm going to do this real quick but i have a lot of favorites because it's just been a good month well actually it's been kind of a crappy month but I'm making the best of it. My first favorite is a gift from my mom. She bought these for me for Christmas last year. And they are my favorite cowboy boots. I love these things. I wear them all the time. I absolutely love them. They're like the perfect length. You can scrunch them down. So they're slouchy cowboy boots. You can wear them up. So they're super cute cowboy boots. I love the detail because... I love the Southwest prints. I love the Southwest trends. I so in love with the Southwest. And I live in the Southwest, so I'm happy about that. But I absolutely like freaking fracking. I'm obsessed with these boots. I've been wearing them with skirts, pants, shorts, around the house after the shower. No, I'm kidding. I just I, I love these. I don't know where she got them though. Um she just bought them for me for Christmas. She asked me for my boot size, and I was like, eh, seven and a half. But they say Buco. B U C C O, Buco. But I'll ask her where she got these, and I'll see if she can give me the link to them because I. I love you, boots. My next favorite is my favorite purse, and I. I switch out my purses like almost every day because I like my purse to match my outfit. I got a Target because, you know, everything. I love basically comes from Target but it's just like a weave purse with bright neon orange trim it has a middle pocket um you know basically this fits like my wallet my keys and my phone because there's not you know a ton of space in here but I am obsessed with this purse I got it on clearance at Target last fall for like four bucks first um, my first piece of jewelry that I'm like I've been wearing a lot this summer is something that my grandma actually bought for me around Christmas time last year and she had it it's not custom made but it's by an artist in Michigan and it's this bloodhound charm which you know I love my hounds and this this looks like my Hank it really does so I have a silver chain that I've been wearing it on and you know it's definitely um people will look at it and be like do you have a bloodhound on your on your necklace? And I'm like, yeah. It's Hank. But it does. It looks just like my angel baby. Hanky. So I've been wearing this a lot and I love it. Her favorite oh. necklace is this necklace that I got off of uh, Oh, what's the what's the name of it? Um Group Deals. Group Deals. Group Deals. It's this, it's J. Crew inspired. Um, I'm sure you saw it in one of my outfits of the day. But it's just a J. Crew inspired necklace. It has this feathers with, well, these metal feathers with this black beading. And, oh my gosh, I didn't even notice this. It has little rhinestones. How did I not know that? I did two kind of craft pieces um, lately. This one has been, it took me a couple months to finish because. I realized that I'm not a huge fan of um, decoupage, <laughs> so it took me forever to finish it. But I bought this back, I bought the form back in May, and it literally took me like two months to finally finish it. But it is this faux deer head, and I actually made this to go in my new craft room, but then Brett and I decided not to switch, so I just made it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in his man cave, because you know, what man doesn't want a flowery deer with giant yellow antlers in their man cave. How funny is that? But this is my, my deer head that I made. And I decoupaged it with scrapbook paper and a whole lot of Mod Podge. My hands were covered in Mod Podge for like two weeks. I could have got acrylic nails and I would have been like, oh. And then I just painted it with this neon yellow paint. So I love this. Um, I will try to get a picture of it when we get it hung up. Originally, I was going to sell it on my in my store, but I just loved it. So, my craft project this month was a piece that I did again for my new craft room that I'm not going to have, so I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But it is just this um, flower or flowers, this butterfly and bird 
kind of canvas that I made. I made the, the this is just regular canvas that I decoupage scrap of paper on and then covered it in Martha Stewart glitter because everything's better with glitter. And I found these butterflies and these birds at um, in the craft or in the scrapbooking section. So I just stuck them on there and I thought it looked kind of cute, kind of whimsy, but super glittery. And I intentionally made these creases too, just just an FYI, because my husband says they look like a mistake. But I actually intentionally did that because I didn't. I wanted to. I wanted it to look like old wood, um, you know, covered in glitter. But it didn't really come out with like the aesthetic that I wanted it to. I still like it, um, but yeah. So the the creases were actually intentional. I swear. Item is my Urban Decay palette. One of my Urban Decay palettes that I actually got when Ulta was having their like daily deals thing. And I don't know what, I can't remember the palette name, but it's the one that has like the purple with the chains on the front. I don't remember the, the name. But it has um, these colors and it came with these two like little sponge applicators, but I really don't like the sponge applicators. So um, what I love about this palette and why it's in my favorites is because it's, Shimmery colors, bright colors. I love Urban Decay shadows are probably my favorite shadows, even you know ahead of Mac for the simple fact that they they last. The pigmentation's awesome. They don't shed all over, or they have a lot of fallout. I just I love these, and this palette I think is good to have if you want to use some if you want to get some color into your uh, into your eye makeup. I really think that it's a great palette to have. Month that have been almost empty, which I totally failed at by the way. Um, I rediscovered my e.l.f. lid primer and as a Urban Decay um, primer potion girl, I actually really like this. I have to admit, for a dollar, this is a damn nice primer. It really is. It's I mean, that's a little swatch of it on my hand right here. It's very light, so it kind of helps a little bit with discoloration. But once you let it sit for like, I'd say 30 seconds, your eye makeup will last all day. I actually have been using this underneath my Maybelline color tattoos because color tattoos crease on me. Do they crease on anybody else? Because they crease on me. So I've been using this under it and they don't crease with this. Just a little bit of info. Now my, I'll do my lip products. I actually have a few lip products this time because I have been trying a lot of new, a lot of new colors and things like that. This is one that was just in my Ipsy bag for July. The Pop Beauty Pouty Pop Crayon, say that three times fast, and Coral Crush. First off, I love the, I almost like shove that up my nose. I love the minty smell of it, but I also like am obsessed with this color. How pretty is that? It's moisturizing. It's um, it's moisturizing. It has a beautiful color payoff. It lasts, you know, it lasts a while. It doesn't last all day, but it just it gives you a beautiful finish, and I really like it. My next one is the Tarte Natural Lip Stain Pencil with Lip Surgeons in Joy. I received this in a Birchbox or Ipsy bag. I can't remember. But this pen, this. This one made me fall in love with this line. This color is called Joy. It looks like it's bright orange, but it's not. It's this beautiful orangey color, but it's kind of corally, believe it or not. This is the Tarte Joy. Love that. Oh, that's a better swatch. That's Tarte Joy and that's the Pop Beauty and Coral Crush. Love this. Love the smell. Love the texture. Love the staying power. It's awesome. This month is something that was in my Ipsy bag. June? May? June? Can't remember. Getting old. But it's the NYX Mosaic Powder in Silk. And it's a Mosaic Powder Blush. That's what it looks like. I love mosaic powder blushes because you can pick up so many colors by swirling it around or you can pick up just the 
the lighter colors on one side, the darker color. This actually could be used as an eyeshadow palette um, if you wanted to. But that right on my knuckle, right here, that's the, the blush. And I really, really, really like this blush. Um, if you have filmed a favorites video, please leave me a video response because I love to check them out. I get so many great ideas for beauty products that, I'll, that I like by watching favorite videos. If you liked my video, please hit like and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!